So what I'm going to start out doing with, with Wong's horn. I want to start with, right with the opening movement. And I want you to practice something because it'll help you start getting a feeling for what one of the things that he's working with. And what he's working with here is two, really two things in the opening movement. One is, I was talking about a, of the movement of the mind and energy up and down the Zongdeng. Second thing that he's working with, and it's really equally important in it, is he's working on getting the spirals through the right and left channels to be very active. And if you watch his movements when he does this, he doesn't, it's not really very visible in, the, in this video, but whenever he taught it, he always started out by basically kind of going in to the ground and coming back up. I'm doing this real slow. And he usually, he would do this usually three times before going into the, the opening. Now, with your mind, while you're doing this, and if you look at you can see how I'm twisting and spiraling as I'm doing it, the four points are wrapping and twisting inwards, coming back out. What you're trying to do is it's sort of like, in a sense, it's like driving and spiraling deeper and deeper with each twist. So you're starting out, and, 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 and the thing about it is you want to do it in a way that's fairly relaxed. You don't want your mind to become tight or, or really stressed while you do it because if you do that, believe me, by the end of like halfway through tomorrow, you're going to be a basket case. <laughs> right. So you start out on it. And then the next time, let it just kind of naturally rebound. And then the next time, just take it a little bit deeper. Two. Three. And the third, really penetrate. And what you want to do is you want to, as you penetrate through the right and left channels and through your central channel, you want them to join. So however deep you go, you want all three to join. Huh. When you're talking about penetrating, you mean just down? Just down. Okay. Yeah, as deep as you can go into the ground with your mind. And again, this is you know how far you can feel it that join it. And then let it come up. And then try to feel it go in and then it'll rebound on its own and try to follow that rebound. Catch it on the way up. Mm -hmm. So are you talking about the central channel you're talking about solving in this case? Yeah. So does that go down your bones and down between your legs. I would go down between your legs. The so how does that join with this head chance? Down there. Because your mind. They, they come together. Yeah, because your mind. The core of the earth. Oh. No, I'm not very good. When you go down and you, and you get the penetration down there, if this makes sense to you, try to do this. Try to, if you can, dissolve sort of the boundary between where your mind feels and it ends, your feeling ends. So that as you go and you actually, to actually really connect to the earth, you actually want to kind of, with your mind, disintegrate any boundary between the energy in the earth and, and, you. and you. And there's a tendency to kind of become, an, to kind of sit back and watch yeah. with our minds. And that's really not exactly what you want to be doing. It's going to be part of it. You're going to go in and out of that a lot. But what you really want to do is you really want to get to where that boundary between your conscious awareness and the energy below dissolves, for lack of a better word. Just it ceases to be there. And, the, and part of that is getting your mind down there, but it's also really releasing your mind it's when it is down there so that it's not tense on trying to get down there again. You want to have it should be very relaxed, and when it gets there, it should just go quiet. And when it goes quiet, that's when your chance of really connecting is is, is best.
so we did it slowly. Where I kind of slowed down the spirals and stuff. 